No, wait. Hi. Hello. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the first the VatMap podcast. Uh, I'm here with David from Swan. Hello. So uh, we're going to be answering some of your questions and what you want to know about me, Swan, and home appliances cleaning in general. So. So on this, yeah, so Matt's got the questions appearing on his phone at the minute, so by all means send in your questions and we'll try and rattle through as many as we can. Um, We've already had some sent in to us yesterday. Um, So one of the questions, Caitlin Langton said, uh, in your opinion, uh, sorry, what's your opinion of the new cordless swan? I'm assuming she means probably the Hyper. Uh, Well, I've been trialling the Hyper Clean for a couple of months now, and it's really good i've had that machine through all of its paces i've tested it on hard floors carpets and it really does do a fabulous job and for its price range i'd say it's definitely one of if not the best machine around for that price range and the capabilities of it really are fabulous and how versatile it is and powerful for the price it's a really good machine Great. Also, we've been doing some uh, videos today as well. Yeah. Matt's been here all morning, um, so he's been filming and using all the appliances. So hopefully, you'll see some more content uh, coming your way. That's not Swan. Um, it's Matt's content, not our content. So which uh, gives it more credibility. Mm-hmm. Yeah, been up putting it through all the usual tests and checking. It's all good. So you've been enjoying it. I've spoken to a lot of people who have bought one, and they absolutely love them and think they're fabulous and uh, agree with me that they're a good machine um it's a great question here um uh best carpet washer now swan doesn't have a carpet washer yet so matt it's, it's all good that matt mentions other brands so uh, but we will be releasing a carpet washer hopefully in the next three or four months yeah so i've tested a fair few carpet washers and um, rug doctor have actually got a new one out which is a really good machine um it's a reliable machine it doesn't leave the carpet too wet Uh, Obviously, I'll be trialling the Swan one because the Rug Doctor one is quite pricey. It's around £300, but it's worth trialling it out to see if you can get a good, cheaper alternative from Swan. Yeah, so our models, I think at the moment we're looking at £69.99 for the basic model. They're maybe up to about £100, £120, but we're still, you know, working on solutions and uh, and the best products possible. Because, as you know, we like to over-deliver with the quality of the product, so we're just, again, putting it through its paces. People like the VAT Matt, Lindsay Queen of Clean, Dazzling Cleaning, you know, all the influencers that we work closely with, we want them to put it through their paces as well to make sure we're all happy with it before we uh, bring it to market. Um, Mama Pig Official says, can I come? Um, unfortunately, we've only got that hit now, so it may be next time. Um, is there any discount vacuum, sorry, any discount codes for the vacuums? Um, so yes, you can use my discount code, which is the VAC Matt 20. It's all in capitals, no spaces and that will get you 20% off any of the range, which is a great discount, because if you buy and say the Hyperclean, you can get that for 160 discounted to, so you're 160 from 200, so you're almost getting a quarter saving. Um, somebody here has put, what is your, who is your favorite cleaning account? Oh, it's a, uh, it's a tough one, but I have got a couple. I really like Lindsay, I love how original she is, Lindsay Queen of Clean. Uh, I also like the other Lindsay, Dazzling Cleaning and Sister Pledge. Um, I think they're all really genuine, official, got some new things and not just tagging on the back of trends, which I like, just seeing new different things. And I enjoy talking to them and we share a lot of opinions about vacuum cleaners and cleaning of how things work and understanding the deeper knowledge of why things work and how they work. Uh, one of the questions here is, uh, in Vat Matt's eyes, what makes a good or great vacuum cleaner? So you want something that's reliable. Um, it's a huge thing in the world of today that you want a good warranty. You know, two years or up is good, which the Swan range has got two years. Um, and it's good to have a reliable product because with the global warming issue now, it's hard to fix products up uh, get them working again so it's good to have something that lasts you want something at the end of the day that does a good job so on pet hair you want a machine that lifts the carpet pile back up that's the real test i mean carpet might look clean but is it like it was new because a good vacuum will make a carpet look brand new 
so yes it's all about your needs too because if you've got pets different machines will suit if you've got a big house you might want to go for the plug-in machines i've been trying a new swan plug-in machine that seems a really good uh, of affordable price but with some really good features and the performance was pretty amazing when we tested it it's one of the best at such a great price yeah, so what uh, Matt's alluded to there is we have a product out coming called the Floor Rover. Um, it's been massively successful in the United States and um, Matt's had the sort of UK exclusive of testing it and again putting it through its paces. So hopefully that product will be available to buy in the next two or three months. So we're really looking forward to launching that product. Um, question for you and the back, Matt. Is Swan going to do a hard floor cleaner like the new Van one? One Vax, I'm thinking. Okay. Of, you know. Okay. So, um, yeah. I'll, sorry, I'll just nip in on that yeah. one. That's all right. But um, on the floor cleaner, so uh, the Eureka range is really, um, yes, yeah, our sort of carpet range, so um, all floor care products. But we are looking at that developing a, a range called the Dirt Master. Dirt Master range will have a sort of spin mop. It will also have a steam mop, a multi, uh, sorry, sort of twelve in one multi steamer, um, and also the carpet washers, which we alluded to earlier. So yeah, I'll be <laughs> as soon as they're out, I'll be getting my hands on them and testing them, and I might even see if I can get one trialed out today on the hard floors here, uh, and I'll let you know if it's any good and if it's something to look forward to. Brilliant. Is there any questions coming through? So we've got, let's have a little look. Um, let's have a look if we've got any questions. You can post your questions now. And <laughs> yeah, I'll see we'll you there. Um, let's see. I'll tell you what, I'll ask a question on, while yeah. we're looking. What was the lap been on this morning? Oh, well, that was pretty amazing. Um, it's been one of my dreams to go on this morning. I've had a lot of <coughs> press attention recently, and it was kind of like the final jewel in the crown of uh, press. It was a really nice experience. I enjoyed it. it was, you know, it wasn't as it seems. It was very actually laid back and just like meeting normal people and having a chat to them. But it was good to help people talking about a new vacuum cleaner and uh, see how I can help them. And it was also great for the vac mat so I can, you know, build up the page and uh, hopefully become more of a known brand because I think I've got some fantastic reviews to offer and unlike other places, they're free of charge. So you can come here knowing you're gonna get a fully impartial review and get your needs taken into consideration too. You've got anything else in the pipeline? Um, so I'm talking to this morning and you might be seeing me on there more frequently. I can't promise anything, but it's uh, worth keeping your eyes peeled. And if you follow me, you'll be kept updated so uh, you can keep your eyes on my stories and see what's going on. Um, I think for some of the Swan followers, because obviously this is live on the yes. Swan channel, um, Maybe tell us how it all started and when it started yeah, and tell us how you got into vacuum cleaners. So since I was about two or three, I've always had a little interest in vacuum cleaners. Um, my nan used to come round to help clean up when my parents were at work and I loved helping her out, especially doing the vacuuming, found it quite therapeutic. Uh, as I began to get older, I you know, bought ones, tried them out with very interesting why they work that way and began repairing them. So from the age of 10, I repaired them. Um, when I was about 14, I stopped repairing vacuums and started up the vac mat. So it's a free impartial page where you can get all the reviews, but it's really taken off because there really was no go-to page. If you go to somewhere like Witch, you do have to pay a subscription and your needs aren't taken into consideration and there's so many different machines out there now and not one budget can fit all machines because if you want to spend 50 pounds you want to know what's the best for that rather than what's the best for 600 pounds so it's all about just helping people out and i've found that the instagram community have been really supportive and it's been really interesting getting to know you all and uh, i'm glad i could help you out Certainly my go-to person if I have any yeah. floor care issues. So, um, one of the questions we've been looking through the phone, one of the questions yes. was, what's the best one budget vacuum cleaner? Um, I currently absolutely love the Power Turbo Upright vacuum cleaner if you're looking for something on a really tight budget. If you use my code, £55, two year warranty, you really can't go wrong, I don't think. But if you're looking at a cordless machine, I think the best value for money cordless 
for the Swan range is the Power to Airbo Plush, which is a really good machine on carpets. It's fabulous on dog hair, on your hard floor too. It's amazing on crevices because you've got the soft roller head. Now that design is usually seen on vacuums that are £500 with the soft roller head um, plus. So it really is a good value machine and you get a lot for your money for what you're getting. It really is on par with some of the big players, I think. So is that your, which is your ultimate Swan product, go-to product? Ultimate go-to, um, I would say, is the Power Plush. It brings up the carpet lovely. You who have bought it absolutely love it. I've seen so many great reviews and it is also a good housekeeping pick. So it's not just me, it's also good housekeeping's favourite. So uh, we know it's good and built up yeah. for the job. Uh, for us, um, you know, we launched the vacuum cleaners um, in January last year um, and it's been amazing really. You know, um, Swan uh, is really known for a, a kettle, as a kettle brand, uh, a kitchen brand rather than a, um, have you got a problem with the Facebook one? Has it gone off? Oh, okay, all right. Um, Sorry, so Swan is known for more of a kettle brand rather than as a, um, a vacuum cleaner brand. So when we brought it out um, uh, last year, uh, we were surprised at how quickly and how well it did. Uh, we tied up with the, the team at Eureka, who are an American-based business. Um, is there a slight issue here? And someone just couldn't hear, but it's because they had the phone on silent. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So yeah, if you want to listen, make sure you turn your volume yeah. up so you can hear. <laughs> so you just caused everyone having a meltdown in the background. Yeah. That's, that's absolutely fine. It's all um, right. <laughs> so so um, yeah, as we said, Swan's normally, uh, or has been known as a kitchen brand. It has been linked to, to many, many products over the years. We've, we cover all areas of the kitchen, whether it's you know fridges, dishwashers, kettles, toasters. So when we launched Floor Care, we had this opportunity with the team at Eureka in America, who I believe they're number four in the, in the United States for as a, as a brand. Brand. Um, they wanted to launch their products into the UK. We said, look, we'd work with them and become really the sales and marketing team uh, behind their brand. So that's why we've called it uh, Eureka Swan. So we've got all their latest technology. They've got a massive factory in Suzhou in China um, that's developing some fantastic new uh, products that we're looking to launch um, uh, later this year and at the back end of the year. Absolute game changing appliances. Really, obviously, can't talk about it now, but I've I've touched and felt them myself and yeah, really can't wait. So we're even talking about maybe getting vac mat out to China at some point to maybe have a look at, get into the factory, do some filming. The, the, the factory is actually all robotic, the way it builds all the engines and the motors, it's all it's all robotic, it's a fantastic place. So maybe sometime in the future, once everything's calmed down in China, we can get out there and do some filming. So that could be really interesting. Definitely. And for the value for money, the technology they're delivering is way above what they are charging so the Hyperclean, for example, is using a brushless motor. That technology has only been seen in vacuums, 300, 400 pounds, and it is well under 160 per pound. So it really is good technology, a really affordable price. And it's simple, but very effective. There's no real on bells and whistles, but it's got what people want rather than what the manufacturer wants people to want. So you've got a long cord, a nice long hose, uh, a, just a sturdy machine, picks up really well on all floor surfaces, easy to adjust and easy to understand. There's not 24 different power modes and different brush speeds. It's just easy and simple, and that's what I really like about them. Uh, one of the questions here says, um, I've always, I'm always wearing of new Hoovers mm -hmm. vacuums, uh, as they start off great and then after so long they don't perform as well yeah what would you recommend so f it's really important that you maintain a vacuum it does not matter what vacuum you get whether it be a 700 pound dyson or if you go to asda and spend 19 pounds on their own value range vacuum you need to maintain it and it can take five minutes just clear off the brush roll which is really easy to do to clear off any hair Check your belt, always a great idea. Uh, and make sure your filters are clear of any clogs and hoses are clear of blockages. And I think that's the most common issue yeah, is keeping <coughs> it clean. And if you keep it clean, it will let the electronics work as they should. If you vacuum with a filter that's full of muck, you're going to clog it, you're gonna put strain on the motor, the motor's gonna burn out. Whereas if you wash that filter every month or so, You've got, you know, you're giving the motor optimum airflow so it can keep itself cool and it just is reliable for longer. So it's like the key to anything. Look after it and it will last 
as long as you can you know look after it parts for swan vacuums if you do break things are all available on the website which is something i love you can spend hundreds on vacuums and the parts aren't available you have to you know go through repair shops but they're easy all the parts are user serviceable one ha one screw can take the handle and bin off so it's just really easy and simple yeah i think the same for us as well so you know we get a lot of people we have a, a, a i think a pretty decent after service uh, center that looks after our vacuum cleaners if you oh facebook lives collapsed you know just turn that one off <laughs> just turn it off um so yeah so as i was saying yes yeah, so we have a really decent um just turn it off, I think mm -hmm. it's the best thing. Yeah. Um, we have a really decent after service here. We try to look after the customers as... as... What's happened now? <laughs> it's finished. Oh, has it? Yeah. Right, okay. Because okay. that turned off now, mm -hmm. haven't we? Yeah, it's turned off. Um, yeah, so we have a really, as I say, we have a really decent after service here. Or we try to be, um, you know, we are a small team as well. We're a very small company compared to some of our competitors. Um, but what we do have is um, a facility down in Birmingham where when people have problems with the vacuum cleaners, we can um, pick them up, send them there. But I've got to say, generally, a lot of the time when people say there's poor suction, it's because they aren't cleaning their filters. They're not checking them regularly. They're not saying that the vacuum cleaners are so easy to take apart. So all I would recommend is before you pick up the phone, have a quick look through it because it's amazing like um, what, the, what they pick up. Um, we've had vacuum cleaners come back to us to be repaired and there's been a sock in the pipe and people complaining because it's just not picking anything up. So it is, it's all about, as Matt said, like maintaining it. You know, I would, I would suggest that you probably clean your filters, maybe as often as, as when you empty the, um, the Just canister. tap it out in the bin every time you empty it and, you know, give it a wash at the end of a month when you give them the exactly. deep clean. It just really helps and... Preserves the life of it. Definitely. And with a vacuum, when you get it out the box, I'm going to say something that people will think I'm absolutely mad here. Suction isn't everything. Suction is a very small part in cleaning a carpet or hard floor. Yes, you need suction to get the dirt up the pipe, but with a vacuum like the Swan Range, which incorporates a brush roll, the brush roll does the majority of the work, and the suction removes the dirt from the brush roll. So just because the suction isn't as strong as something that doesn't use a brush roll, doesn't mean it won't deep clean as deep because the suction on cordless machines isn't as strong as a plug-in but we've had people come to us and say uh, I vacuumed with my vacuum beforehand and then I went over with the Swan Hyperclean and it's filled up and the suction isn't as strong as a plug-in as I say but it's not the it's the brush roll and the suction working together and the team of them work together and really deep clean carpet so before you get your vacuum out and just switch it on and put the suction to your hand have a go of the carpet first and you'll be amazed to see how well it performs and suction isn't everything um someone's just put here what's his name i saw him on this morning the other day i think it's on his jumper it says the vac mat the vac mat <laughs> uh, someone else here, i think the name's jane said she's been buying swan products for 40 years yeah um, if you if you've got any old products by all means like make sure you tag us in them because anyone who's got old products and shares them like if you use um hashtag, my swan kitchen. Yeah, yeah if you use hashtag my swan kitchen and tag us in the pictures mm. uh, we do a draw uh, once a month where you can win like some matching appliances or some new appliances and stuff like that so just always be sharing your content with us because we love it um the team behind the camera emma and katie and everybody they all like reading the comments and liking the comments and commenting on the comments so make sure you're doing all that um i think that's nearly 20 minutes now by the yeah way. so i think we'll have to wrap it up yeah know. thank you everyone for watching thanks i hope you found it informative anyway yeah obviously this is this is going out on matt's um, podcast as well yes. this your first mm -hmm. podcast so um we'll share all the links to that so you can listen yeah, to it as well fabulous and uh, don't forget to check out my stories for some demos of the swan vacuum cleaners that we've got here today and i'll put some links and codes there i know a couple of you have been asking about codes uh, where you can get them cheaper and uh, some great value deals Great. Thanks for watching. Fabulous. See you Thank next you. Time. See you soon. Bye-bye.